We spent the day exploring 60 million year old rock formations and the monasteries that were sitting on top. Good morning guys, um, so we're about to head off now. We are going to head in the direction of, I guess, Gomentiza, which is the port we arrived in. We're kind of going on that direction. We're going to get prepared to cross into Albania, I think, tomorrow. This has been a cool stop for us. I think it's well worth coming um, and doing the walk, even though the first part seems a bit daunting. Um, and just looking at them, they seem crazy high, but it was definitely worth it. So we've decided to go to this campsite here, which is on the coast, um, as you can see just above where we came in. We thought it might be a bit easier to get ready. Do you want to go up to the top? Just a lot? Yeah, why not? At a campsite, because we can put some stuff outside if we need to while we're cleaning. Uh, we're currently just going to go up to the top where we walked yesterday, just to have a final look and see how windy it really is up there. Um, I hate that drawer. <laughs> Action. Um, and then we're gonna head on for a two hour and I hate that <laughs> two and a half hour drive will end up being I think especially if we stop for some final food we'll see um, and hopefully I can put that stupid drawer back in when we stop Everyone's wondering about driving up here. It's a really know, steady climb. There's no camping signs around, but you know. you know. We wanted to get our eyes on some monasteries that we'd missed the day before, so we eased our way up the windy paved road. It was a clearer day than it had been when we were walking around, so we were getting better views across the valley. All but one monastery. So we're just gonna go all of that now. And then to carry on. But it's pretty insane. We already had been to a lot of places during our stay in Greece, but we knew that Meteora would stay a favourite for a long time. We must get some like gravity fed like when they shit. Going <laughs> down the pipes. No flush Things needed. Things that you think about. Well, you think about when it. When we went to that castle in Scotland, that's all you were fascinated about as well, was the toilet. I'm just thinking, like, if you <laughs> imagine the pressure built up behind it. It's huge. So we're carrying on. Egovinza is about an hour, half away, and we will get there eventually. The sun had followed us during the whole drive, and over halfway in we could see the sea again. We don't often exit a country where we've arrived, so it was nice to spend the final nights knowing we'd done a pretty great circuit. Hey guys, so we've finally arrived at the campsite, um, only an hour and a half later than we wanted to. Um, we're both pretty pooped. Um, we haven't really had anything solid to eat today. Dylan's just gone to check in. Then we're gonna find a spot and probably lie down for a bit um, before we need to get to work packing the van for tomorrow's crossing. What's the deal here? Turn up. Just go park. Yeah. G'day team. Alright mate, how's it going? Morning guys, so we had a pretty interesting night last night. We got a not very nice wake up call at around 2am um, because the van was rocking back and forth um, and we had no idea what it was. And we thought maybe it was people pushing the van or Dylan thought he heard a horse and it was a horse pushing the van, I don't even know. 
but um, it turns out that last night there was an earthquake um, southwest off of Greece, 6.8, which is pretty big. And yeah, it was, like we're up by Albania, and so the fact that we felt pretty intense shock from that uh, was a bit, a bit intense. Um, As a veteran earthquake recipient. Um, I can tell you that it was quite, quite powerful. I think like back in New Zealand, I live on a, when used to live on a slight fault line, so when you say earthquakes quite a lot. Um, not in Auckland, no. No, not where I'm from. I think our biggest worry is that we are on a beach, and so we weren't sure what the tsunami warnings would be like here, and after some research we found out that Greece has zero Tsunami warning. Well, not zero, it's just pretty. Dylan! There's a horse! There's a horse! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. I knew I heard a horse. Hey, where's he gone? <laughs> that, that's definitely thrown today off. So, Dylan is currently making coffee and we got avocado, so we're gonna make some sushi. Um, and then we're going to tidy up and head to Albania tomorrow. Crossing Albania as well on a Saturday. Which could be interesting. Hopefully it's not huge weights in line. But you never know. Might be more people coming to Greece than going to Albania. I think it'd be cool. One pound to 140 leak. Uh, anyway, that's our start of the day anyway. Um, it's a bit later, it's actually lunchtime. We will keep you up to date with how today pans out. It turned out that the rest of the day was filled with organising and cleaning up. We knew there was a chance the van would be searched, so we rolled our sleeves up and gave Nelly a good clean. Good morning guys. Um, so we're just about to get on the move and we're headed straight for Albania. I think it's roughly potentially a two hour drive to get to the spot we want. It's a nice day, there's been no more earthquakes, which is always good. And yeah, very excited to um, see a new country. It's good for this bloody crossing. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we've had quite a good experience in Greece. It's definitely different from what we've seen on the like the islands, but it was good. It was nice to be able to slow down on the coastline coming down. And Dylan got to practice his spearfishing and actually caught a fish. Only one. He's very disappointed. I'm so gutted about the big one that got away. <laughs> what has been your best takeaway from Greece? Like fort or experience? Anything. Um, I don't know, I really don't know. The water, the beaches. The food. I think. Have you ever had better tomatoes? Oh yeah, probably the best tomatoes I've had. But like... Is it I don't know, I think like... Obviously we're not out of Greece yet, but so far it's probably been my second favourite European country I've been to. It's pretty well set up for camper vans. Wild camping's actually pretty alright, and no one really enforces it. Unless like you start to get big groups, and then from what I read, that's when the cops start to move people on. Um, other than that, you know, chill. We couldn't believe how long it had been since we'd crossed the border. Almost a whole month had passed since arriving in Greece. It was hard not to feel a little sad leaving Greece behind. She'd served us well with very little hiccups along the way. Mostly, we were eager to reach Albania though, as the point on the van was to continue and see new places, so Nelly drove us onwards. Um, so we're clear through the Greece side, and now we're gonna go to the Albanian side. So wish us luck. <laughs> Officially left Greece. Now we're gonna go check out Albania.
that was extremely weird. Like, maybe it's because the guy didn't speak much English, but legit, like, his came up passports and our documents over. Heaps of, like, guys there and walking past, looking official. Lady, random lady in, like, Mufti comes up and asks for insurance. And then we see heaps of other cars being searched and then we're just kind of like, no one tells us what to do, so we just creep forward after we get our passports. And then the lady's like, you go. <laughs> and now we're in our bank. Getting through the borders without a hitch was exactly what we'd hoped for. But now it was time to find somewhere to stay for the night so we could enjoy our first Albanian afternoon. Well, it doesn't look open. First stop in Albania, fail. <laughs> <laughs> Second stop in Albania. Fail. <laughs> We're quickly coming to a realization that a lot of places are closed. Third time to charm. Get back up. Jesus. Quite steep. Will you get up there? Yeah. As we drove down the long steep driveway, we were hopeful. Fingers crossed this would be the spot. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> Don't know if we have to pay for this or what. And what am I supposed to do? It just seems what like we had a bit of luck with this spot. Then those other ones were closed. Because they definitely were not as nice as this. And what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Hit him! Hit! Hop, 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 hop! So funny. Five thousand, ten thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand. Wow. <laughs> Money, baby. <laughs> okay. 